Flashback. I'm Britt Johnson. The NFL played their first ever Week 18 in NFL history as the league added another regular season game to this season. But to a lot of Cowboys and Eagles fans, this was just a glorified preseason game due to the fact that both teams have already secured a spot in the playoffs. With COVID and injuries, both teams had a lot of starters missing, but in true fashion, this was a divisional rivalry game and both teams came to play. Have you played pinball before and did you feel like you were one in that catch that you made where you were bouncing off guys? And did those double hits kind of keep you upright almost? It did, it did, honestly, because I was falling at first, then he pushed me against my momentum, then I got hit toward, again against my momentum, so it kind of balanced out, I guess. But, uh, nah, I enjoyed I was surprised myself that I was actually able to stay up. But you know. Yeah, because receivers are going over the middle. There's like a big thing there. You know, you, you were able to, to, to make that play up. Just the offense in general. How about the, the everybody's spreading the ball around, Dak having a huge night, setting records. How fun was it to be out there tonight? It was fun. It's always fun to, you know, go out there and put up 50. Uh, obviously, we know it just began for us. Uh, understanding that this game was huge for us and a big confidence boost. And to go into playoffs with confidence is probably the best thing for us. Um, when did you get that feeling? Was it all week that, hey, this game is big? That, that no matter what their Eagles are going to do or whatever, we're playing to win this game. Every game is big, honestly, and that's how we approach it, uh, week in and week out. But, uh, you know, approach every game the same, attack, want to come out with a win, and victorious. Obviously, this is a, a road division game away. And uh, those guys were definitely on the street. So just coming in, understanding the assignment, and knowing what we had to do, and we got it done. Can you name all 22 players who have scored a touchdown this year? I'm, mm. I'm joking. You don't have to do that. <laughs> that was tough. How, no, how about just the fact that it is a record? And, and what does it mean for a team that can do that, has so many weapons? Just plug them in. So many weapons, man. I'm glad to be a part of it. And uh, as you said, 22 different people that on the same offense yeah. to touch the end zone, that's, t that's tough. And man. defense. Uh, and defense. I forgot. Pick sixes. <laughs> and special yeah, teams. Special teams. Yeah, so, yeah, that's great. tough. That's tough. While the game may have not made a huge difference for the Dallas Cowboys, it was still an opportunity to focus on bringing confidence to the depth of their roster heading into Super Wild Card Weekend. And, of course, some momentum for the Cowboys as they win 51-26 to to end the regular season. Talk about, you know, going into that game, how much y'all want to play and want to win? Say it again. How much did y'all want to play and win this game, this final game? Oh, man, uh, you know, being able to come out here and capitalize and get the win, uh, you know, just to be able to build, um, you know, on a win and, you know, head to the playoffs, um, I feel like uh, we carrying the team and the momentum in the right direction. We've talked to you a few times in recent weeks just about being one of the older guys on this, on this team and this defense. What does it mean to you now that the playoffs are here to be back in the playoffs at this stage of your career? Right, man. Uh, you know, it's just another opportunity to go out here and be your best. Uh, you know, just working through a whole season, a uh, whole regular season. I mean, a, a long regular season at that uh, with the extra game. Um, you know, it means a lot to, you know, be able to bring young guys and uh, the group of guys that we have in that locker room uh, to a playoff berth. What, what's the, you know, you win your 12th game, you went undefeated in the division. What's mm -hmm. Is there any sense of accomplishment in, in doing that, or is it all just about what's, what's happening now? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, you got to be able to, you know, look at your accolades uh, that you all made throughout the season. And, uh, you know, we did a great job, but now you are right. It's, it's time to look forward to what's next to come and um, capitalizing on those opportunities. I know you went out for a while. Was it tough to see why it ended up a tunnel at times, or you just felt like I'm just waiting for this moment? Yeah, uh, it really wasn't, you know, about uh, what I was looking at or – you know, what I was looking for, it was just all about, you know, getting myself prepared to come back and help the team win. Who? <laughs> yeah, we behind. Uh, <laughs> uh, but it feels good for the offense to, 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 you want them to win this bet. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, we wanted to win the bet, but also, you know, we still, you know, trying to put pressure on them and uh, create turnovers. Uh, I mean, but, you know, they won tonight, so we got to come hard in this playoff game. This guy might have been snubbed for Brits Game Ball in the past, but I took care of him this week. Find out who secured Brits Game Ball next. Dallas Cowboys Flashback, presented by Reliant, is brought to you by AT&T. Choose VA. 
veterans get the benefits you've earned. Visit choose.va.gov. And by Reliant, an NRG company. This segment is brought to you by AT&T. Cedric Wilson was the last Cowboy to score last week against the Cardinals and the first to get on the board for the boys this week versus the Eagles. And in the second quarter, secured his second touchdown of the evening. Cedric Wilson ended the night with five receptions for 119 yards. Cedric, you got my game ball, my guy. How much did this offense need a game like this? I mean, you, you guys had a 50 a couple weeks ago, but there's talk, you know, what's wrong with the offense? All the, did you guys put some of that to bed tonight? Uh, I mean, I feel like we just got to keep coming out every night and doing what we do best. And, I mean, obviously we displayed it tonight, but we got a couple big ones coming up, and that's the one we need to display it. Dak was just spraying it all over the place today. CD, yourself, you know, tight ends, Cooper, all that. When, when he's rolling like that and spinning it and the running game is running, how, how dangerous can this offense be? Uh, I mean, you've seen it tonight. We can put up big numbers um, if we're all snapping. And we got a few guys in there that don't even get touches, and they were a part of the offense as well. So I feel like it goes to our preparation and practice when everybody gets in and came rolled over into the game. You you scored. I think you guys you have six touchdowns now this year. And when you, when you come in, it just seems like you just pick right up. What what is that mind, mentality like that you know when you get in there, you, the offense is going to just continue to, to thrive and maybe even get better. Um, it's just preparation. I practice hard every day, um, and when it's game day, I just rely on my preparation. And when it's um, out there like that, it's pretty easy to do. And Dak throws an easy ball to catch. You're not going to like this question. I'm going to ask it, though. You guys are focused on the playoffs. I get it as a team. Uh, free agency is coming up as well. Do you feel like you know every game you put out there, every tape, you know, you're, that you're helping yourself you know, and, and your future as well? Uh, I mean, that's a part of the game. You play good, you get paid good. But, I mean, my focus right now is going into the playoffs and bringing a championship here. With, with Gallup out, obviously that, that's your guy and all that. What, what do you feel like you add to this offense maybe that's a little different? Is it more slot uh, as well? And, and, and knowing you know, that he makes big plays as well, do you feel like you add a different uh, dimension when you're in there? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's two different play styles. Obviously, he plays the X and I play the F, so uh, most of my work comes the majority in the slot, and we're definitely going to miss him on the outside. A lot of guys scored touchdowns this year, NFL record. Uh, how, how cool is that to be a part of that, of knowing a lot of guys can get in here and contribute? This is a team record, as, as big a team record as you could get. I'm um, definitely happy. I mean, this team, we set back all the way in August that we were going to do something special, and I'm happy that we got the team um, stats, and I'm obviously happy that Dak got his. Appreciate it. Thank you, Sid. With a score by Ito Smith in the fourth quarter, followed by one from Jaquan Hardy, the Cowboys set an NFL record for the most players to score a touchdown in a single season with 22 different players. Another accolade, you see it on the board here behind me that the Cowboys accomplished this season. We are the only team to have Dak Prescott, who had 4,000 pass yards, Ezekiel Elliott with 1,000 plus rush yards. We have CeeDee Lamb, 1,000 receiving yards and then we have Micah Parsons we all know his big one he had 10 plus sacks and then Trayvon Diggs with 10 plus interceptions so amazing for this Dallas Cowboys squad how much are they talking about that record is that something y'all discussed in practice every I mean we kind of know about that is that you know a lot of different guys have scored touchdowns or do you even know what I'm talking about oh no I, no, I don't know I don't know about it all right well the, you you actually I think tied you, your touchdown tied the record most touchdowns. Oh, really? Most touchdowns by different players in a season with 21. You were the 21st guy to oh, score. Oh, really? Yeah. What does that mean as far as a team that can spread the ball around, different guys? It doesn't matter. Just plug them in and let them score. Man, it just it just goes to show the organization. They do a good, great job at bringing right, guys, guys in. And um, that's a very talented roster, man. And um, we all competing. It's, it's very competitive. And, man, we just, um, just they doing things the right way here. You uh, you played a lot with it with Atlanta, Dan Quinn. Uh, I know he's on the different side, other side of the ball. But what was it like to kind of reunite with him? And, and you can see he's doing great things on that defense. Man, uh, me and Coach, we on. Uh, that's my guy. He on. Uh, we got the same birthday, okay. so it's kind it's kind of cool. September 11th, and um, yeah, we were very close when I was in Atlanta, and um, I was just happy to see him when I got here, and um, he was happy to see me as well. Awesome, appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. 
The Cowboys work on cleaning up any criticism they've gotten this season during week 18. We got more next on Cowboys Flashback. This segment was brought to you by AT&T. This segment is brought to you by Ashley Home Store, the official furniture store of the Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys have been getting some criticism in their inability to run the ball well this season. With Tony Pollard out this week due to a lingering injury, Zeke was accompanied by Corey Clement on the field, who is a former Eagle and somewhat of a legend in the city of Philadelphia. Zeke played through three quarters and was able to secure 1,000 rushing yards this season. Yeah. Zeke, what is it, especially just dealing with the, an injury for most of the season, what does it mean to you hit 1,000 yards on the season? Yeah, it means a lot. Um, I mean, you look at you look at just how the season's uh, sh shaking out, and uh, just yeah, like I was a little banged up. But I mean, I think it's just a true testament of you know how how well this O line has played, and you know I wouldn't been able to do it without those guys. Have a game like this at the end, they show you that I'm back, I'm ready, I'm, I'm close to 100 percent ready to go to playoffs. Uh, yeah, no, 100%. That's definitely what I was looking for uh, going into this game is just kind of getting back on the horse and, and uh, you know, getting getting things ready for the playoffs. You had the long run where you, then you came out right after that. Was it your knee again or something different? No, I just landed on the ball. <laughs> You guys, have, you had a big game, but you know, obviously, your, your, your cousin and, and all the other backs you know, had, 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 had big games. Was it just the running group to you, which I did? Um, yeah, I mean. TP told us going into this game, he wanted 150 out of us. We, we went and got that done for him. Uh, he wasn't able to make this trip with us. But I mean, yeah, uh, we put in a lot of work all season. And, um, and we, I think we do so, so much just within our group, just you know, making, it, making each other better and uh, holding each other to a certain standard. And uh, it's great for us to come out and uh, have the type of performance we did out the running back room. Dak Prescott also had a big game, breaking Tony Romo's franchise record for the most pass touchdowns in a season with a total of 37 after hitting a career-high five pass touchdowns in a game, throwing 21 of 27 completions for 295 yards and zero interceptions. What does a game like this mean for you guys? You set all these records, you saw you surpassed Tony Romo's record. Uh, was it about the momentum? Was it about the record? What, what, is, what does it feel like? Do what you got there. Yeah, it had nothing to do with the records. Uh, I think we talked about earlier in the week is about the momentum, um, giving us something to, to carry over into this, uh, to the new season, I guess you can say. Um, and excited about the way that we finished this regular season, going 6-0 in the division, uh, coming out here and doing this on the road. Um, it was a great, great team win, great for some young guys to get in and some different guys to go score, t score touchdowns. And uh, to get that record is cool. I mean, I think that says a lot about a team. Just to uh, have that many guys sc score touchdowns is, is, is impressive. But um, honestly, none of it matters now as we look forward and we move forward uh, to, to what's to come. Mike McCarthy said that 37 touchdowns in the record-setting season is not bad for a guy that's I agree. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, if I wasn't in one, I guess I could have done it a while back. But, uh, um, yeah, I mean, Pretty cool. I mean, pretty cool to, to, to get a record like that. I mean, obviously knowing who, who, who's come before me and who's the hit play, play the quarterback position here before me. Um, I'm just the beneficiary of uh, a, lot of, a lot of hard work, great play calling, um, offensive line protecting, a bunch of different guys making plays. So um, ju just, a, just a stat, to be honest with you. When did you know you got the record? Did, did, were you aware of it on the sidelines? Did someone tell you at halftime? No, I mean... Honestly, I mean, when I just came off the field, they're saying congrats. I knew going into the game, obviously, there's a chance, but um, that's not anything I really think about. Uh, so, um, yeah, I mean, just coming off the field, they said congrats, and I thought they were saying congrats for, for five touchdowns, to be honest, but uh, then, they, then they informed me. How proud are you of Zeke and for him to get 1,000 after the way the season has gone? Yeah, I mean, huge. For a guy to play through injury, um, a running back to play through a knee, a knee injury and put a brace on and just to keep grinding and keep doing everything he can to be there for for his team and to give his best week in and week out. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was huge. That was huge for him, huge for the offensive line, huge for this team, uh, for him to go out there and get that. And a lot of guys took pride in that. What's up, what's up, Sal? How you doing? Great. Uh, what do you guys have to do to focus on going into this wild card? What, what, what do you think as a team you need to get better at to focus on approval? Yeah, I mean, you just said it. Focus, honestly. Just focus and take it one day at a time. I mean, the playoffs bring a, a great deal of excitement. Um, Everybody, everybody knows what it means, but for the, but for us, it's about focusing day by day. And right now, it's going to we're going to celebrate this, uh, have a good playing ride home. But as coach said, when we touch down in Dallas, 
um, you know what I mean, flip the script and, and understand what's ahead of us and just focus on improving week after week and uh, taking it one game at a time and staying in the moment, whether it's at practice, whether it's a drill, that, that particular drill, whether it's a meeting, um, take, it, take it one day at a time. And when we get to the game, uh, just focus, be disciplined, and take care of business. The final game altering play of the regular season next with Nick Eatman on Cowboys Flashback. This segment was brought to you by Ashley Home Store, the official furniture store of the Dallas Cowboys. The last time Nick Eatman, senior writer for the Dallas Cowboys, will be joining me on Cowboys Flashback this season for our very last gap moment of the season. All right. So, I mean, we had a lot of moments yeah. in this game, so I'm going to let you well, see maybe, what we got here. Maybe we should change it then to the SAP, the season-altering play, because yes. this game, all right, 44 to 20, fourth quarter, this game's definitely out of reach here. So, <laughs> the what isn't. Uh, out of reach is the Cowboys getting a chance to break the single season record by the NFL mm -hmm. most touchdowns in a season and I feel partial to this because I I was kind of onto this early when it was 14 15 so now to see it at 22 all right here we go Jaquan, Jaquan Hardy's in the game he goes right up the middle for a run here now look at this little cut back I mean he this guy was on the practice squad a yeah. few hours before the game they call him up He's over here dicing through, making plays. Good. He's the 22nd guy to yes. score. And it's like a full thing coming back because he was kind of low-key a star during uh, yeah, the beginning knocks. of the season during hard knocks. Let's, let's watch another thing, though. Look at the center here. My, Matt Farniak, he hasn't played a lot this year. 68, okay, he pushes this guy. Okay, I got this guy. Cool, McGovern's got his guy. Fine, now I got – now here's another one to the second level. And then I see a safety. I'm going to block you, too. I got two guys. I mean, I mean, he basically he hadn't played a lot this year. Great, though, job mm -hmm. by, by Jaquan Hardy to score. It's the 22nd guy. You know, when you make a run like that, it's kind of like, yeah. you know, the way Emmett used to do it, who right. wore number 22. This was a 22-yard run, mm -hmm. and it was the 22nd touchdown. Look at that. Touchdown. All those and numbers Hey, here together. we are. I mean, you, you're related to Bob Hayes. He wore what, 22? I've done this a few it's years. What season is this for me? Is, 22. Isn't it your 22nd 22. season? It is. So wow. I'm just saying, there was a lot of 22s okay. there. Good well, job. What, what a statement this made for the team because all year, oh, the run game, we can't get a run game going, and literally to have all of those running backs score a touchdown. Yeah, it was it was a great job. You're right about that. I mean, Corey Clement did a good job. I mean, Zeke, it started with Zeke to do all that with Pollard out. I love that record because it's an individual mm -hmm. record, but a team record all combined into one, and it shows the versatility that the Cowboys have, that a lot of different guys can go out there, just plug them in, let them score. Yes, well, thank you so much for joining me on our final gap moment or season altering moment <laughs> of the season. We'll be right back with Twitter to see what Cowboys Nation had to say. Dallas Cowboys flashback presented by Reliant was brought to you by AT&T, Reliant and NRG Company. And by NFL Game Pass. You'll never miss a game again. Enjoy full and condensed game replays from week one to the Super Bowl. Welcome back to Cowboys Flashback. It is time to check in with Twitter. Last week we had some disgruntled Cowboys fans. This week I think everybody's feeling pretty good, including this guy, former Dallas Cowboys, Bryce Butler. You guys remember him, right? He said, ain't gonna lie, the Kellen Moore offense may have or be having me wishing I had a chance to play in that system. Would have had 30 plus snags at least. Wow, okay. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> Moving on, this person said, I don't like cleaning, but I love a clean sweep. 6-0 and against the NFC East. Hashtag Dallas Cowboys. And, of course, division champs. And then our next one we have here. All I know is that I'm one happy Dallas Cowboys fan right now. Like Mike McCarthy said, it's going to get real and we're ready. I hope the Cowboys are ready heading into this playoff game. We will be taking on... Um, the 49ers this week, so that should be exciting. We have not seen them all season. Rob Phillips, Dallas Cowboys writer, said, I made this analogy on the show Friday. Cedric Wilson is like an ultra-efficient NBA sixth man. Vinny Microwave Johnson for all the olds out there like me. You know what, Rob? I am so glad I have no idea who you're talking about because then that means I'm not in the category with olds. Moving on to our next one here. 
my lucky outfit I was ready to play. This outfit is amazing. Suit up like Zeke. I love it. I'm here for it. Okay, wear that again next week because maybe that is the good luck that we need. Well, thank you guys so, so much for tuning into Cowboys Flashback. This is our last episode of the season. I will see you guys next season, but make sure to see you guys on that field this week. Dallas Cowboys taking on the 49ers.